Hello and welcome to today's Living Word. I'm Dwayne Matz. We're continuing in the book of Isaiah. We're in chapter 8, going to look at verses 9 and 10 today. It reads, Be shattered, O you peoples, and be broken in pieces. Give ear, all you from far countries. Gird yourselves, but be broken in pieces. Gird yourselves, but be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, but it will come to nothing. Speak the word, but it will not stand, for God is with us. That's our text, Isaiah 8, 9, and 10. Well, Biblical Interpretation 101 tells us when an item is repeated, it is something of great emphasis. Well, today we have repetition of this phrase, gird yourselves, but be broken in pieces. That's a strange emphasized statement, isn't it? But we can take great comfort in this biblical truth because, in essence, God is saying his plans cannot be thwarted because God is with us. Emmanuel, right? Well, this prophecy was meant for Syria and the northern kingdom, who at the time were planning to invade and conquer the southern kingdom, Judah. And God told them, go ahead, gird, make all your plans, be at the ready. But I'm telling you that you'll be broken in pieces. Your planning will come to nothing. Say what you will about how strong you are, but it's only words and they will not stand in my way. Yeah, it's just like the psalmist wrote in the second psalm, the first four verses. Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Yeah, you know, look around. The world we live in right now is not very pretty. There's danger all around. But listen, God's got this, okay? His plans cannot be thwarted. Jesus is coming again. And when he does, all things will be made new. The wicked, those without Christ, and the righteous, the righteous, those in Christ, will be dealt with in accordance with God's perfect justice. He always has the last say. So persevere, my brothers. Persevere, my sisters. Persevere. I'm Dwayne Matson. That's today's Living Word.